Hello, I have some instructions for you for your Spanish course, and we're using Ave Dos. And I have uh, just some instructions for you to follow uh, and some resources. This is the URL. Just let me put it into the text box. First thing you do is you click on the English. Then you get to the page where it says to put in your username and password. When you do that, you will come to a page like this. Now, uh, just a word about the uh, glossary. Everything here is in Spanish. Your page might not look exactly like mine. I have a, a tutor page or a teacher page. So anyway, uh, your level in this course is A2. If you want to know the meaning of a word, you can either type it in, empty there, or you can pick it from the list on the left. And what this is is a real dictionary in Spanish. Number one, it gives you a definition of what it is, and most of the time it'll give you a picture. Abrigo would be coat. You have to figure that out if you're going to use the glossary. Now then, when you come in uh, and you want to do your work, click on materials. Now, I have a very different list, but you should find the list for the section A2. Here it is in my list. What we're going to do this year is tema uno, tema dos. Nuestra experiencia, ir de compras. So you click here. And we have nine sessions. So basically what you do is click on session one, activity one. And you notice it very nicely comes up here on the top of a toolbar. Now, you might not know what some of these instructions are, so you take a look down here at the button translation, traducción. And when you push this, it will translate the instructions you have up here into English. Okay. Now, that is why when you do sign in at the beginning, you would push the English, E-N. Okay. So here we have a matching exercise just to get you introduced to the class. Answer the question, what is this person doing? Well, she's coming back from a trip. And when you click on that, you get an audio file that tells you in Spanish what she is doing. She's coming back from a trip. She's going to stay at the house of some friends because uh, where she lives, there's no airport. You make sure up in the top right-hand corner, it doesn't say siguiente. Okay. After you listen to this video, uh, video that you see here, you'll click on that. Then answer the questions. Okay. If they're wrong, you'll know. It's just so that you get to think about what there's there. Now, if something appears in blue, it means that you might need to know what it is. Caimanes, alligator. Now, 
No, it says here, underline the verbs. So we click our pencil and we want to underline the verbs in a new type of form. Okay? There's 14 of them, it says. There's the verb. Uh-oh. See, I clicked on the wrong one, and it just flashed at me, and didn't do anything. Ah, but there's another one. There's another one. There's another one. That's a verb, but, uh-oh, that's not the one we're looking for. That is, and so on. Okay. Let's go on to the next one and m match them. Okay, so here we're taking a look at the form this new verb takes with all the different pronouns. We're taking a look at the verbs in the form of perfect, present perfect. So let's see. We have to take a look at moving these to the right spot. Uh, I didn't put it on the picture, sorry. Now then, whenever we're doing this, and you see this circle with the book opening and closing, click on it. Okay, and it records your, your having completed this. And it says, a mother talks to her son one he comes from school. Observe. So, you take a look. ¿Qué tal en el colegio? How was it at school? He jugado mucho. He discutido con mi compañero por un juguete. He argued with his friend because they wanted the ball. Un juguete. En clase hemos leído cuentos. We've read stories. And me he caído en el patio. I fell in the playground. Okay, so we're taking a look at these different verbs. There's four of them. Let's just says it says here to click on them. And so here we have something that's going to tell us what form the verb takes, and we're taking a look at the regular participles. Uh, well, it's, they're called regular because they're regular verbs. And so if it's an AR like jugar, Adio. If it's er or ir, it's ideal that you put on the stem. So you notice that there was one part that was taken off and was replaced by an ending. That is inter uh, important to know. Okay. So try and write the participles. and so on. When you're finished again, look over here. There is something that says, oh, I better register myself as being here. Here we have a dialogue that will appear. And then what you need to do is write the infinitives of the participles. So you notice that the first one that's in darker or bold Abierto, abrir. So when you finish this, 
you want to take a look here. Algunos verbos que terminan en e e e r i r tienen un participio irregular. So they're irregular verbs, and you already know that. So poner de participio es puesto. Decir the participio es dicho. So you have to be aware that there are irregular verbs, and through use you will know them. There's there's no rules as to how to remember which ones they are. Okay. Here we have another one to work on. What has Fernando done today complete? And there's the example. Again, when you're finished, you would click on that. Okay, and what we do is we listen to the video, watch and listen to the video, and answer the question. When you get that done, we go on to the next. What has Laura done this month? Okay, number four. There you go. After we get all that done, go on to the next. What have you done today? Well, let's see. I've had a cup of coffee. I have read the newspaper. And I have spoken by phone. Okay. Uh, and then you always click on that book. that opens and closes. Okay. Now, I have a couple other things that I need to tell you about. One is, in the lessons I'm going to include a Spanish verb conjugator. You may start off with this one, but I don't think you'll wind up with it. Just enter a verb, hablar. It'll say it for you in a male voice and a female voice. That's kind of nice. Okay. And so, if you want to know what it is that we're dealing with, it's present perfect. And you have to figure that one out. And there is that verb conjugated in present perfect. If you want present, click on present. Okay, and so we're looking at verb tenses that are different this year, so you want to have this. And so this URL is going to be in your lessons. You'll see it. Now, the other one, I do have another one. Okay, and what you need to do is <clears throat> click on the verb you want to translate. I'll do the same one. Click on Go. And there we have it. This is a little bit uh, nicer in some ways because it gives you the verbs and it is in Spanish. So that will be a little more of a direct hit with what you're doing. But it is the same. It is all here on one page. Infinitive, the participle, and much later we'll talk about a gerund. And so if you need to do a different verb, there it is, that fast. Okay, so that's what you need to know for this. And I will be getting back to you again in an eLive so that you will have some more instructions as to what to do with our new template for incorporating Ave2 into the portal as well as in LearnNet. Just keep in mind that if you have any questions, please give me a call, send me an email, get me on the same time.